Hello and welcome to iKids. So I hope you guys are following along quite nicely, right? Yeah, and you're enjoying uh, learning Python, isn't it? Right? Okay. Um, so till now we have uh, looked at uh, some of the loops and some of the statements like if statement, else, elif statements, right? And then we also look at while and for loops, right? So now um, we know, I mean, those quotes will be executed uh, and when the condition is correct, right? And we'll keep on the loop will continue uh, as, I mean, if the condition or the expression in that loop is meeting that requirement, it will keep on continuing, isn't it? What if, if we have to break that flow for a particular segment or particular range, or we need to continue or skip some part of it, of the loop, what, what could be the solution for that, right? We are going to look at that in the sessions starting for now for the next three sessions, right? All right, so I'll see you in the class. Welcome back friends, so let's continue with our session uh, on break statement, okay? Right, so until now we have studied uh, if loops, for loops, while loops, right? And um, where actually quotes were uh, getting executed until a condition is met, right? But at times there may be some requirements that the loop may not be required to run till the condition is met, right? It could be a case where actually it is not required to be run. Right? So, what is a break or uh, statement? Okay. So, break statement can alter the flow of statements. Right. We have learned in now loops iterate a block of code until the condition is met. Right? But break statement helps in formatting the iteration or event, the whole loop without checking the condition. All right. Let's look at the flow chart for, for break statement. Okay. So as you can see, uh, if the break statement is executed or if the, the break statement is um, part of your loop, so what happens, uh, uh, expression, it is like any, any loop when expression is checked and if the condition is true, it will go to the expression for where actually uh, the break is uh, considered, right? So if it is yes, then it will exit out of the loop and um, no further execution of the code will be uh, executed. So if it is no, then it actually goes to the remaining part of that loop and then it will go back to the uh, the initial expression or the body of uh, uh, the expression is done. Then it will go back to the starting of that loop, right? And then uh, once the condition is false, then it will exit out of the loop, right? So if the break statement is inside a nested loop, okay, which we are going to look at the statement and you know by now how um, the nested loops work, right? So if, elif and it will have the multiple ifs and elifs uh, statement, right? So if it is in the um, nested loop, then the, the termination of the uh, innermost loop is executed, right? Right. Um, now let's look at some of the examples okay all right uh, again for the ease of the time I have uh, uh, written the code uh, so that we don't spend much time in writing the code okay great um, it's a very simple code um, so what what it is doing is uh, for value which is a variable in a pro it that is a string right if value is equals to equal to i which is the capital i break and then print value and then print thank you right so what happens in this one is it's going to check each one on this one right and as soon as it it hits i which is the capital i it will not print t okay it is going to print p r o and then it will exit out of that okay let's have a look by clicking function f5 all right as you can see p r o and then 
it hit I and it exited out of the loop right and then it printed thank you okay um, isn't it the same uh, which you wanted to have the output right all right let's look at the next example all right uh, let's uh, look at this example where we where we actually asking a user to input uh, the lower range number and the higher range number right all right so uh, consider that you have been provided to for this a project where you have to um, find a number in the range provided by the user which is divisible by 3 and 7 okay so what we're going to do is we are going to give um, uh, I mean a print a banner by saying find first number divisible by 3 and 7 in given range right and then we are going to take the input n1 uh, which is an, a variable to um, get the input from the user for lower range number okay and then again uh, it's going to convert into the integer format right uh, second uh, variable n2 is going to take the high range number right and then the next line what it is doing is n1 is not equal to n2 then it is going to execute this piece of the code okay and if it is n1 is equal equal to n2 that means both the numbers provided by user are same then it is going to print there are no valid range okay great um, so if so if n1 is not equal to n2 what it is going to do is it's going to um, execute this uh, these steps which is actually also an example of nested loop right and we know what is nested loop right okay great so exp there is a, a variable it is going to take the range of n1 n2 plus n1 because we want to take the the last number or the higher range number which is going to be um, keyed in by the user so for that what we have to do is we have to add plus one to that number okay so with this we are going to have the range uh, n1 uh, provide uh, that is a low range as well as n2 which is the high range by adding plus one to n2 all right for i in expression okay for i is again a variable in expression um, the which is the range of n1 n2 right n2 plus 1 right if i is divisible by 3 or uh, remainder is 0 and i is divisible by 7 remainder is equal to 0 that means both the conditions are true then print that number is divisible by 3 and 7 in range n1 uh, to n2 okay and we have kept in f character because we wanted to use the format uh, feed right in that format yeah okay and if that is as soon as we find the number that is divisible by uh, 3 and 7 it is going to exit and the program will exit out right if it is not able to uh, get that number uh, then it is going to the next part uh, that is if not divisible by 3 and 7 right and we'll continue till this particular condition is meant right where a number is divisible by 3 and 7 all right fine great um let's look at the execution of this by clicking f5 on the keyboard all right i'll maximize this window and as you can see we have got the banner find first number divisible by 3 and 7 in given range so let me give as 25 right and then let me give as 100 yeah so uh, it continued and was giving the output as not divisible by 3 and 7 till 41 all right and then as soon as it hit 42 it found that this number is divisible by 3 and 7 so so it actually exited out of that loop right and then it is not continuing with 43 44 right so this actually demonstrate how we can utilize the break statement to break a code or to the I mean break the sequence when when a particular condition is met all right great um, I hope you guys were able to understand this and uh, 
you were able to follow along quite nicely and I hope you guys are practicing a lot because we want to be all a pro programmer isn't it right great I uh, enjoyed uh, in this session and uh, I hope you also enjoyed the same um, until next time uh, keep practicing keep watching and keep learning thank you